I want you to understand that when you walk into that courtroom that you have a choice between a shell of a house that this has become or a place for that little boy's laughter, a place for family, dad. Just as long as Annie is gone before you get here. I just want you to realize that this opportunity might not happen again in your lifetime. Or in mine. You said you were in remission. I am. But it doesn't mean I haven't figured out what I want in my life before it's too late. But the cancer, J.R. I don't want to talk about it. I want to focus on the positive. And us coming back together, now that, that's positive. Uh, you're forgetting that, um... Well, you and I had a, a lot of serious issues before Annie ever appeared in my life. You were going to shoot me the night Stuart died. Do we have some work to do? Absolutely. <laughs> and do I want to do that work? Yes. Do you? A second chance, Dad. We both need one. Yes, it's, it's, uh, I'm due at the hospital again, Annie. Would you like to say goodbye to your grandson first? Uh, hey, let him. That's my boy. Oh, getting so big. So Madison's on the loose again. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this. You and your family are my only lead to her whereabouts. Please tell me that she's not after me again. I hope not. She... She was getting the kind of help she needed in that private facility. After you let us believe that she was dead. I... I felt that was my only option. To protect my family. And yours. Yeah, well that didn't exactly work. <laughs> I'm sorry. All I can tell you is that she had a relapse and escaped. She was making such great progress. And then she, she'd become delusional. I know we have to stop her. Well, look, I don't want to give your family any trouble, but and I don't want this to get out. Well, what do you want? My daughter back. I'll find her, and we'll get her back to the hospital. But this time, she's going to stay there. These bruises are different ages. How long has your father been hitting you? Please don't make me talk about him. Well, if you don't fill me in, then I may need to contact him to find out what the story no, is. No, no, no. Look, I never meant to be found. By you or him or anyone in your family, I'm just passing through. Just on my way to a new life. Where he can't lock me up or drug me up. Yeah, last time I saw you, I knew something was going on. That dead look in your eyes. Yeah, well, as far as my father was concerned, I was dead. Looks to me like he's trying to make it a reality. I've become an embarrassment to him. A social liability. And he hates me for it. If he finds me this time... Oh, I made a big mistake letting that woman bring me here. Woman? What woman? You sure it was Madison North oh, you saw? Yeah. Drink. Jesse, there is no doubt that it was Madison. I don't understand. I know, I know. She was supposed to be dead. All I'm saying is that's all I'm saying. Um, Fred, could, yeah, take him to the hospital. Get him checked out. Look, if he is a witness to a possible hit and run, maybe... Natalia! Maybe I run things here? Fine. Brought help, Fred. Come on, let's get the car. Let's go, Fred. Bye, Fred. Oh, boy. Well, um... Yeah. I heard that Madison North was dead. From her father. Well, 
I am sure that it was Madison North, and I am sure that her father told the world that she was dead to try to cover up what he's been doing to her. Which is? Beating her. Look, she's got the bruises to prove it. I have some personal experience with this, Jesse, with, with physical abuse. All right. Um, I'll handle it from here. Handle it how? I'll stop by the Miranda Center. I'll question Madison, see if the charges are warranted. If the charges are warranted, Eric, if? I appreciate you coming in here with this information. As a matter of fact, I wish more people would get involved like you. But from here on in, this is police business. OK, you call it police business. The truth is, it's just basic rights. Erica, Ryan, Zach, I'll put them all on the stand. Everyone who went after me for Stewart's murder. Oh, you're going to put them on the stand? For what purpose? To expose them as being lying hypocrites. Then we'll see who the jury believes. Uh-huh. And what happens when you put Adam on the stand? I mean, you're nervous about that, aren't you? You're afraid that he's going to turn on you. That's ridiculous. Isn't that the reason why you fired me from this case? Because you're afraid that I'm going to help him sink you? Adam loves me. He would never do that. Well, then why fire me from this case? Adam is my most powerful witness. If you're not afraid you of his testimony... You know what? I, I'm getting really what? sick of your lame theories. Listen, Annie. As soon as you go paranoid, the jury's going to smell it from across the room. It's not being paranoid if people are actually out to get you. Uh, well, that's true. Uh, only as soon as you panic, the jury is going to wonder why. And that is the moment that you are going to lose this okay, case. You just stop it. The rest of it is just a formality. I said stop it. Your job is not to upset my wife, it's to represent her. Not anymore. The day before the trial, I'll have you brought before the bar if you quit now. I didn't quit. No, your wife has fired me. She's decided to dig her own grave. Did you bring a shovel? 